we got a lot of stuff yesterday, a lot. We got uh, Tanazu Antids, which I'm recording right now. Uh, some of the colonies, but it's a lot. Let me show you. Turn on the lights here. So all all of those rocks right there, that's all zoanthids. So a ton of coral. Zoanthids, mushrooms, more mushrooms. Actually, there's stuff on top of stuff at this point. Uh, we got some uh, elegance corals. We got some hammers, some torches. Beautiful elegance, and we got the whole one, and we also have fragments. We got the blue jaw fish, like I did the video yesterday. You saw that. We got more stuff. We got also this little jaw fish, these uh, the pearly jaws, which are from here. They are Caribbean. So those ones are the pearly jaws, they are Caribbean. Really cool, also beautiful. They have this like blue hue hint through their bodies and usually I get them in pairs so there's another pair there's another pair don't mind the prices because this is all wrong right there beautiful that right there that's a, a cleaner goby we got this really cool uh, check this one right here I'm not even sure what it is I have to let you know tomorrow but that's uh, a Caribbean fish so besides those, I'm um, ready to get a massive shipment very soon for this uh, system, which should be here next, not this Friday, the other one, fr the other Friday. So it's a lot to talk about. I also got a lot of freshwater fish um, the, the last few days, but uh, I don't want to overwhelm you. But let me talk to you about Zuantis, since I'm already recording. You see that? So that's, that will give me the B-roll that uh, I need as I talk about Zoantids. Basically, Zoantids or Zoantus, they live, you can find them on Indo-Pacific. They're very easy, they're like considered a beginner coral, easy to take care. Um, they occur in areas with a lot of turbidity a lot of particles so they're kind of like dirty water that's why you see sometimes associated with them muscles and muscles of filter feeders and they like a lot of dirt pretty much not all zoantids are the same but uh for the most part they're easy they, they do like if you want to do some iodine usually for soft corals they will like it they can take strong flow as i seen uh here in uh, florida or low flow also if they don't have enough light they actually extend there to get longer so they're trying to reach for more light um, they don't make a hard skeleton so they just grow over different rocks and structures and they colonize so they make several colonies they're very easy to reproduce breed uh, to fragment them you can just peel them from the rocks you cannot really target feed them, but whatever food you throw to your tank, usually they will absorb it. Uh, you can do something like a reef energy, like this reef energy A and B by um, Red Sea. You can also do something like uh, there's fuel, fuel by Aqua Vitro. This will do it also. But that's pretty much it. They like the water. There's a lot of zoantids, but these ones that I'm talking is just this stuff common zoantids, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I gotta do a lot of stuff, and I still have to edit this video. Ciao. Bye. Something else. The zoo. In the zoantids, there's also a group called palitoas. The palitoas is a coral that uh, it's a bigger polyp. That there's a toxin called polytoxin so you have to be careful you have to be careful with any coral if you touch it with your hands if you have a cut you might get that toxin in your bloodstream then you get sick um right here in this boat you probably see right here this is all covered with these uh 
with this uh, pally, but it's a different type of pally toa. Um, grows a lot. I tried to kill it one time, but it just came back, so I quit. At this point, I enjoy it. It's a nice, you don't see every day uh, uh, something completely covered with, uh, with a coral. And I do sell it, you know, it grows on pieces, I throw a rock there, it grows over it, and I sell it. This might be even a coral that would be good to feed, uh, like, uh, I don't know if angels or butterflies will actually eat it, but if there's a, a coral eater, a coral, a, a fish that only eats coral, uh, that might be interesting. Um, so as we went, it's uh, very clean water, dirty water. They usually do very well. There's also parasites that can come with them, like nudie branch. So you want to give them a little dip with coral RX. There's two, Julius Sprung, two little fishes revive. That's very good. Uh, but that's it. And if you have any questions, just put it on the comments and I'm, I'll answer it. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.